Two Reasons People Fail With Internet Marketing An online business can be tough to set up and maintain. Depending on your market, sales can either come slow or come fast. But the main thing that you will want to focus on is back-end marketing. This one factor alone can be the cause of great business movements and the opportunity to earn more money in your business than you can possibly think of, but success doesn't come easy. Even some of the best go-getters when it comes to internet marketing fail. They develop a marketing plan, outline things to do, and then put it on overdrive. And they still wind up with a dwindling business. Why does this happen? Well, it happens for a few reasons. I end today's lesson. I want to share with you some of the reasons that even the hardest working people online don't have big paydays. They may get a sale here and there, but as far as continuous profits on a daily basis, this is something that they never see. Here's the first reason people online have a failing internet business 1. Not going into a niche, it's tough to operate in a large market. It's just too many competitors to compete with and whether you agree with me or not. Almost all of the marketing messages sound the same. See people have been trained by large markets. They know what is fact from fiction, they see through the hype, they want to see real results, and they aren't strangers to the internet, but if you go into a small niche market, you can change all of this. People in small niche markets have a problem that no one, to very little, are offering a solution for. If you present them a marketing message or a sales pitch that is directly in line with what their problem is, you'll more than likely have a greater chance at success. So go into a niche and operate with little to no competition, and you will see just how easy marketing on the internet can be. In a small niche, you can be perceived as an expert, and people will refer others to you and buy your products from you over and over again. Here's another reason why people don't succeed online. 2. Information overload If you hear one guru dismissing a particular marketing strategy and then hear another guru praising the same marketing strategy, it's easy to get confused. Now granted, both of these gurus will more than likely be doing really well in their business, but when it comes down to helping you out, I doubt that you'll understand some of the things that they tell you to do. To avoid information overload, try one marketing strategy and see if it produces for you. If it does produce for you, find another strategy and see if it produces for you also. And then continue the process. For those strategies that don't make you money or don't help you to get opt-in email newsletter subscribers. Scrap it. Don't get mind boggled by internet marketing. You can do it, and with the right mindset and niche. You can earn yourself a good bit of money in your online business. I've been doing this for a while now. And I can tell you that information overload is something that a lot of people get stuck with because there is a lot of information out there about how to make a business successful online. But stick with effective strategies, and you will be good to go. Good luck with marketing your products online.